What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and what you see here is an unboxing of my brand new Gourmia 7 quart digital air fryer. Come to the recipe book guys, over 30 recipes, pretty cool. I always love that. Of course this comes with a manual which has charts, I love that. Troubleshooting page, love that. And get this, if there's something wrong with your machine, they have information to directly contact Gourmia. Nice. Of course this comes with a manual. Let's take a look around and just take a quick look. Not much to see here, all black guys. It's the sides. This is the back. Not much to see there. Top again. Length of the cord, pretty long. I like that. Not even a three prong, even better. Okay guys, let's take a look at the basket. And it does come with a crisper plate. I'll show you that in a minute, but I just want to show you the bare basket by itself. See, it has that bump up in the middle. Gets to make, um, you know, juices and oils drain to the sides. See the handle there? There's nothing to detach here. Feels solid in my hand. Very cool. All right, this is your little air fryer plate. And by the way, the bath, the whole basket is dishwasher safe, including this, so that's pretty cool. This is what it looks like with the plate in there, guys. And as always, guys, let's take a look under and see what we're working with. Yep, coil and fan. That's typically what you see in the air fryer. Let's see how easy it is to open and close the baskets. Sometimes air fryers, you know, they have a problem doing this. Not a problem, but it's a slight hesitation or whatever have you. Oh, it feels very light. Very easy. I would have to say this is the lightest so far air fryer basket that I've owned. Very easy. Before we turn it on, since they have it available to see, Let's look at our displays here, display messages. So you got preheat, add food, turn food, and end. Okay. And by the way, this is a fingerprint magnet. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'll just do a little Windex on there. And I would compare this to my Kasori. But of course, I have no desire to compare the two. I hate comparing. I would just rather show and let you decide. They're both 1700 watt. They're both square baskets. So there you have it. Anyway, we plugged it in and we get this nice little display of a power button. So we're going to press it, see what happens. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So we got air fry, fries, wings, bacon seafood, vegetables, preheat, stop and cancel, start. Over here we got bake, roast, broil, dehydrate, reheat, keep warm, turn reminder. Okay, I like that. Then of course you got your uh, plus and minus, temp and time. Pretty straightforward right there. Okay, guys, so let's answer some of my immediate questions. So we have a preheat. Do I have to do it? Well, first of all, my question is, does it go above 400? So let's let's see that. So temp is right there. Nope, it doesn't go over 400. That's fine. Gourmet, I need you to go to at least to 425 in future air fryers, um, preferably 450. That's just what we're doing now in 2021. All right. Let's look at the time. Should go up to 60. 
All right, one hour, yeah, that's fine. Now, my question to myself is, do I have to preheat? Because it's flashing right here. So let's just say, all right, I want to do one minute, and I hit start. So it's going to say preheat. Okay. That's fine. But let's turn it off. Let's hit air fry again. Let's hit preheat right here, and it goes away. And I hit start, boom, bypass preheat. Thank you, Gurmia, I like that. And I'm looking at the manual right now. Turn reminder just means when that's on, when that's enabled, halfway through the cook, the air fryer will beep five times and display turn food. Nice. That's the end of my unboxing, guys. It's time to cook something. I got these Hebrew National Pigs in a Blanket. Now, shout out to my air fryer group. I posted a picture of this and said, should I do a video on it? And a lot of people had interest in me making this in the air fryer. And if you don't know, I, I am a Nathan's guy. And I actually did a video of the Nathan's Pig in a Blanket. Um, but I did try because of my subscribers and, and viewers. They did um, convince me to try Hebrew National, which is great hot dogs. It's right up there with Nathan's with, for me. So I definitely was intrigued to try this out for you guys. So let's get to it. I'll give this to you. Why not since we're here? So these are the instructions. Blah, 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 blah. But of course we're air frying so it doesn't matter. Whoa, these are small. <laughs> wow. Look how small these are. I didn't expect them to be this small. These are true appetizers, I can tell you that. Now the trick to this, guys, you, I would suggest you microwave the portions that you want to cook on any frozen pig in the blanket, whether it be this or another brand for at least 20 to 40 seconds to ensure that the middle gets you know hot because they're you know these are already pre-cooked you're just warming it up that's that's all we're doing really and crisping the blanket so I'm gonna warm this up for 20 seconds in my microwave yes believe it or not I don't have a stove but I still have a microwave <laughs> look guys I got them all in there cool Oh, by the way, I did 40 seconds in the microwave. 20 seconds wasn't enough. I saw I did another 20. So 40 seconds in the microwave, and let's get this in the air fryer. All right, let's get this on here. First, let's go to air fry. Let's take out preheat. We don't want that for this cook. Um, all right, time. We're going to do seven minutes. And temp, we're going to do 390. All right. Be back in seven. Oh, it smells fantastic in here. You want to see what it looks like when it's when the time is up and how it sounds? Okay, it says N. How much beeps does it do? Okay, well that's enough. I'm gonna hit power and then I'm gonna open the basket. The fan should turn off. And it does, thank you. You know what I'm about to say? This could be you. Seven minutes of your life. Oh man, these smell fantastic. Nice and crispy. I can't wait to try it. Paper towel time, guys. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my videos are finished. I appreciate that. Now, my, my long-time subscribers know I cannot stand mustard, but I can stomach this French's spicy brown. So you know I have to do that for you guys for sure. It does, it does actually taste good. So we'll get some of that in there. You get the point. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. And don't worry, guys. I'm eating all of these. And I'm going on a 20-mile bike ride in about 45 minutes. So I'll be all right. This will be nothing but energy. 
you first. We're going to have the first one without any dipping sauce whatsoever. We just want to get the flavor. You got it? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. It's good. This is the perfect small little appetizer or just finger food just to just devour. Because that's what you're going to do. You're going to devour this. Let's dip this one in the sriracha ketchup. You first. Mm. Mm hmm. That's good. Let's do some spicy mustard on this one. I know some of you like that. You got it? Mm-hmm. That's good. That spicy mustard is really good. I like that. Surprisingly. Now, lastly, I'm going to dip both. I'm going to dip it in both. This one's from my longtime subscribers. You got it? Mm. Now that's a good bite. We'll clean that out with some soapy water. Easy peasy clean guys, soap and water. There you have it. Alright guys, I'm just going to give you one last thing. We're going to go into overtime again. I'm going to hit air fry. We want to see what turn reminder sounds like. Take preheat off. Uh, we'll do four minutes. And I'll put the temperature all the way down. We don't, this is just a test, so no need to get anything super hot. I'm going to hit turn reminder. So it should come on at two minutes, right? All right, let's hit start. It says turn right there. So that should, I guess, flash at two minutes. All right, let's see. Perfect. See that? That's cool. So you take out your basket, shake or turn your food. Boom. Awesome. So, what does Cooking with Doug think about this seven quart? 1700 watt gourmet digital air fryer i like it i think it's a go and i'll leave a link in the description uh to the amazon link i think it's 120 bucks and uh for this machine and shout out to gourmet for sending this out to me to review by the way i just asked them and they sent me about sent me a bunch of stuff actually to review so shout out to gourmet one time um and look out for some other products that i'll be reviewing for them um in the near future this is just one of them. But anywho, I like this. It's about 120 bucks on Amazon. And it's comparable to any square basket that I know of, that you may know of as well. It's 1700 wide, a square basket. Uh, that, that's the things I look for. Uh, the touch screen is responsive. I mean, I don't know what else to... And it, of course, it has other features. Uh, bake, dehydrate, all that stuff. Roast. It's cool all those presets and whatnot so definitely take a look at the link check it out um it's, it's a gourmet we know gourmet is a reputable company and they stand by their products so give it a shot look out for more videos on this air fryer and other gourmet products it's cooking with doug i'm out